spread betting or contracts for difference. Which one to choose? They may appear almost identical. You can go long or short. You never own the underlying asset, so you don't need to pay stamp duty. Both involve a high degree of leverage, which can magnify your profits as well as amplify losses. But there are some important differences. When spread betting, you bet an amount of money per point on the price movement of the share. When trading CFDs, however, you buy contracts that follow the share price in the underlying market. For example, when opening a CFD's position in Barclays, you're buying one Barclays CFD. However, when opening a spread betting position, you are betting Barclays at £1 per point. Spread betting profits are currently free of capital gains tax. However, CFDs are liable. While this may seem a major drawback, any losses can be offset against future profits for tax purposes. When spread betting, the size of your position can be up to 10,000 units, depending on the instrument you choose to bet on. When trading CFDs, you can open a position as small as one CFD, which means CFD trading is much more suitable for those of you who prefer smaller positions. Trading CFDs could be quite catchy sometimes when referring to the variety of currencies used. There is absolutely no currency risk when spread betting whatsoever, because the only currency you use is the British pound. Cash CFDs with 100% margin are only available when trading CFDs and not when spread betting. Which is best for you? If you want more tax-free profit, a uniform trading currency and absolutely no commissions, then spread betting could be for you. However, if you want full control over the size of your deal, you plan to offset losses against future profits for tax purposes, or you want to trade cash CFDs with 100% margin, then you might as well choose CFDs. Start now with a free CFD or spread betting demo account.